In this video, I will show you how to create and use a RAM disk on Windows and also how to benchmark it. You probably know what RAM is, it is random access memory inside every normal PC. A RAM disk or RAM drive is a portion of your RAM memory that is treated as a hard disk. It usually has a normal file system on it where you can store files and load files from it. And it is a software feature and not a physical disk that you can plug in and plug out. So a RAM disk is basically a file system inside your existing RAM. But you already have a file system on your hard drive, why would you want to create one inside RAM? Well, because RAM is orders of magnitude faster than other forms of digital storage, like SSD or hard disk. It's also perfect for inter-process communication, where both processes use the same files. The files are loaded into memory only once, and then each process can access them extremely fast. So it should significantly improve performance. The only drawbacks are, well, it uses a portion of your RAM, so you can't use that portion for anything else. And since it is RAM, if you plan to restart and you don't store the files from RAM to a hard disk, the files will be lost, because the RAM is resetted after restart. Now before we start creating a RAM disk, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and smash the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. On Windows, unfortunately, there are no built-in tools available that can create a RAM disk that I know of. That's why in this video we will use a third-party open source tool by the name imdisk. I am now here on the official imdisk GitHub repository. If you scroll down, you should find the link to the official website. IMDisk is basically a command line tool and you can download it using this link here. But there is also a version with a user interface and you can find it down here, IMDisk Toolkit. I will use this one, so go to download here. I will download the 64-bit version. Download complete, let's open the folder. Here it is, IMDisk, inside my download folder. And as you can see, I also have an MX Linux ISO here that I used in a previous video. MX Linux is ranked number one on DistroWatch and in the previous video I showed you how you can install it on a USB drive. So if you want to install top ranked full MX Linux on a USB drive yourself, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. Let's unzip IM disk. Open the folder. You should see an install.bat file, so let's install this one, double click it. I will just go with the defaults and install. Installation finished with a smiley, ok. We can close all of that. And now to create a RAM disk, just run RAM disk configuration, it should be on your desktop. And now here you can set the size of the RAM disk, I will go with 2 gigabytes. Then set the drive letter for the mounted drive, the default is R, and I will leave it as it is. And also set the file system, how to format it, default is NTFS, and I'm happy with that. By default it will be mounted on startup, and it will also create a temp directory inside. This will now allocate 2GB of RAM, it will format it with NTFS, and it will mount it as the drive R. If you want, you can also check the allocate memory dynamically, so it will not allocate all the memory at once, but it will allocate as you write to it. I will leave this one disabled. Now under advanced, you can find additional options, like defining the drive label, or enable NTFS compression, or if you don't want to mount it as an additional drive, you can also mount it as a folder. So for instance, create a new folder, I will call it RAM disk, and OK. And now the drive will be mounted as this folder, but I actually don't want that. Then another interesting thing is under data. You can also load initial content to the drive from an image file or folder, for instance. And if you do that, you can also synchronize the folder or image at shutdown, so your changes don't get lost. As you can see, a lot of useful features here. 
Now, before I mount that as drive R, I will open the task manager. And now let's take a look at memory. It's currently 7.6 gigabytes used. Now let's mount the RAM disk. It's mounted and it also opened the properties here. That's okay. And now here you can see this gap and the memory that was allocated. And down here, as you can see, we are at 9.6 gigabytes now. Let's open the drive. Here it is, RAM disk, drive R. Right now there is only a temp folder inside, but we can do whatever we want inside. Like for instance, create folder or files or create a folder structure. We can also copy and paste folders and files inside. For example, let's copy the IM disk, control C, go to RAM disk and paste into RAM disk. Here it is. So it behaves like any mounted drive with a file system on it, but with one difference, this one is extremely fast and we will measure it. The tool that I will use for performance measurements is called Crystal Disk Mark. It's a free tool. If you want to download it, you can find the link down in the description. First, I will run it on my drive C. Here it is. I will leave everything on default and just start. Finished. Now, these are the results for my C drive, which is an SSD with my Windows system. I will use this as a benchmark and I will open a second instance. Here it is. And now I will run this one on the RAM disk, drive R. Same settings and run. Finished. And now here are the results. As you can see, the RAM disk is faster in every test case, especially the write speed, which is insane in comparison to the SSD. The reads are also significantly faster. So the RAM disk is perfect if you need to share files between different processes. It's also beneficial if you want to process a lot of files at once, especially if the files are processed using a script where the commands inside are just passing files around. A RAM disk can definitely boost performance in such use cases. If you like my videos and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description. This is not the first time I used a RAM disk to boost performance. In a previous video, I also showed you how I can run full Ubuntu desktop from RAM only. So if you want to run full Ubuntu with no hard drive latency, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then like and subscribe. And if you really like the video, down there is a super thanks. So you can buy me a coffee, for instance, so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.